and epic 10 list. Here are 10 lies that you learned at school. Number 10, Thanksgiving. Everything you have ever done for Thanksgiving, from the art and songs to the stories, are all one giant lie. The natives were facing a plague brought on by the settlers and had been dying for three years. The pilgrims chose Plymouth Rock because they knew disease had wiped out a majority of the indigenous tribes in the region. They figured the corn was still there, their tools, and if there were any Indians around, they were too weak and dying to do anything about it. Number nine, the Jamestown colony. We all know they faced a harsh winter, but few mention the following government document as proof of the Jamestown settlers' survival techniques. Quote, driven through insufferable hunger to eat those things which nature most abhorred, the flesh and excrements of a man as well as our own nation as an Indian, digged by some out of his grave after he had lain buried for three days and wholly devoured him. That's right, the famously depicted cannibal Indian of American culture was in fact a victim of cannibalism by none other than European settlers. Number eight, evolution. Religious folks who are against evolution are right on something. Humans actually did not evolve from apes. Those are not your ancestors prancing around the zoo. Evolution is all about the survival of the fittest, and if humans had come from apes, wouldn't we have outcompeted them? It is more accurate to say that we may share a common ancestor, from which each forked out into their own lineage of species. Number seven, Van Gogh's ear. Van Gogh did not cut his ear off in hysteria after a bout with his girlfriend, nor did he send his ear in the mail. Rather, Van Gogh was having some drama with his friend Paul Guagan and threw a glass of wine at him. Guagan took out his nifty sword and sliced Van Gogh's ear off, then probably made up the story about the cut-off ear to avoid being arrested. Number six, founding fathers were Christian. Beginning with the tale of persecuted Puritans to the guided and God-fearing fathers of the United States, they are often depicted as heavily Christian. George Washington was most likely a pantheist. John Adams, a Unitarian, and Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson were deists with Alexander Hamilton becoming what we perceive as a religious Christian only later in life when his son was killed. Number five, Einstein failed math. No, he was so advanced he had to get advanced textbooks from universities while he was still just in school. This myth probably comes from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Our advice when it comes to Ripley, you should probably not believe it, but that's just our opinion. Number four, Abraham Lincoln was against slavery. Abraham Lincoln may not have really been interested in racial equality. He may have just wanted to do whatever it took to save the union he stated, If I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. What I do about slavery and the colored race, I do because I believe it helps the Union. Number three, glass is a slowly moving liquid. Once upon a time, some guy noticed a really old window and saw that the bottom was thicker than the top. He said it was due to glass being a liquid slowly moving down by gravity. But actually, when a researcher put the theory to test, it would take 10 times the age of the universe for glass to even move. Number two, Newton and the apple. There is always some historian that writes about something that happened before he was even born or just a child. John Conduit described Newton 60 years later and talked about an apple falling from a tree. No one really knows if this was metaphorical or not. Number one, Columbus thought the Earth was flat. Nobody thought the Earth was flat, and people were aware that everything was in orbit at least 2,000 years before Columbus even existed. The reason why the monarchy did not want to fund his adventure was not because the flatness of the Earth, but because he severely underestimated the distance to Asia. The whole Earth is flat tidbit came from a 19th century fictional story of Columbus by Washington Irving. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Epic Ten List. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.